Hey guys, what is going on? This is LarkNuck1 slash Shakyubadak, and welcome back to part 15 of my Let's Play of Civilization Beyond Earth. So, last time, we built bioglass furnaces everywhere. We are beginning organ printers in our three main cities here. Uh, we also have bioglass furnaces coming up in Huanlei and Gangren, among other places. Um, Ganzerig has a bioglass furnace coming up in just two turns. We tried to invade New Hope while it, before it, you know, finished setting up, and we failed. Um, hopefully we'll give it another shot this episode, but there's no guarantee considering how much they were able to hit us back with those armors. Um, honestly, we'd need something like being able to clear out this miasma, or I suppose in one turn we could try a TACnet hub, and putting a TACnet hub above this location would really help us, uh, invade. Now, what I want to do now is move the needle jets out to, out to Tan because that will help incredibly if we actually want to hit them with stuff. So this worker just finished this plantation. It is now high time to heal this worker up, and hopefully we might be able to clear out some asthma on our way. <laughs> I'm curious to see if the AI will try to counterattack us, because they did take out one of our overseers when we tried to pull out, but there's no guarantee that the AI will have the balls to try to engage us. All right, here we go. We got communications. The shadings of communication is the difference between I didn't understand that and I understand that, but I don't care. Okay, so fundamentally what we're getting here is the command center and the feedside hub, which both quest, I believe, on uh, completion for a spy. That's going to help us get our health up from five up to higher levels. And we also have the TACnet hub available to us now. So the question is, do we tech, orbital networks, which we have to get if we want to build a laser comm satellite for victory, or do we do something a little more important to uh, supremacy, pick up tactical robotics, or try to go for hypercomputing? <laughs> hypercomputing would be very good for extreme late game science. Um, I'm thinking that if we pick up tactical robotics, it'll get us to 10, and then we can probably build the hypercore. Is there any... Uh, is there any preference as to which one to do first? Not that I see. Alternatively, we could try to grab a higher experience tech, like climate control, but I just don't think that it would provide enough points uh, to level up twice. Something biometallurgy might do that twice. But again, I'm thinking that it's time for tactical robotics, and then we'll try to get hypercomputing right thereafter. Yeah, I'm not really entirely sure if there's an advantage to getting it earlier. Um, one thing we might want to do is see if the network has been built yet, because we could, for example, be on the order of building something like the Xenomalayam, that's 1050, or 1050 bolts, and the network is just 700. So let's compare, uh, see if it's been built anywhere. It has, it's already been built, okay. Um, so we'll just go for tactical robotics then. Um, we will grab orbital networks when it is when we get around to that time where it's like sort of endgame But as it is we don't really have uh, Total use for it except you know what one use could be satellites It could be argued that We could just drop these satellites on everything and it would just be 15% science Overall in our territory and that's not totally that bad. It's actually closer to like 30 volts Sorry 30 beakers, so Let's go ahead and get tactical robotics, and then maybe the orbital network. The thing there is that we're going to be highly limited on... I thought titanium, actually, but really we have a lot of petroleum. So, yeah, it's going to be titanium still limiting, but... 3, 5... Um, yeah, scrap tactical robotics, get to 10 first, and then see what we want to do. Now let's put these needle jets on intercept, and this overseer can just heal. As can this disciple. This worker can continue to heal. Ooh. <laughs> Looks like we got a Paul Australian invasion just west of Gansrig, and we might want to pull back some units for that. Um, or we might need to build more units. Well, what's going on with the camera right now? No, Thank sir. Well Sorry, not interested. Alright, so we did just finish this mine on this desert tile. So let's go ahead and move it up here. See if we can't uh, start helping out the rest of these tiles soon. 
Or one thing we could do is probably move this guy out and help Tan out if we really wanted to. We did just finish a quest. And this is the Bygloss Furnace. So this is really going to be pref preferred to this right here because Fraxite's not going to be so totally limiting. Whereas uh, getting extra bolts from Fraxite Mines just sounds amazing. And it will improve um, basically tiles like this Fraxite Mine up to really, really great yields. We're talking four science, three production, one food all together if you account for the maintenance. <laughs> Alright, so one thing we could do with these trade routes is we can reorient them to Tan, and that's going to give huge yields. It's going to cut some yields to Gong Ren, but we will get another two bolts to Kuyin, and that is preferred. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, is this trade, do we maintain it? Again, you get double the food, pretty much double the production. I, I can't turn it down. It's too good. We did finish our Bioglass Furnace here, so I'm thinking... Uh, we might just want to build an overseer or maybe one of these feed site hubs or command centers. Um, you know, right now, I think we could just build a technet hub, actually, and that would be just two turns, and we'd have... We'd really help these disciples out in holding this line, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And it'll stick around for a while. While we're doing that, let's move the needle jets back, because that seems like where they're needed right now. Let's move this overseer down as well, just in case. <laughs> Ah, all Australian armor, and we would have been able to shoot that down if our needle jets were still up there. The good news is that I don't see this thing doing anything particularly scary. Let's see if these uh, battle suits try to engage us. <laughs> and if they do, looks like they didn't have the guts for it. Okay. Um. Hmm. All right. So we'll support him by having a few more units next to him. And that'll beef him up. And then we'll try to go for the kill with the tech. Or the, sorry, the needle jets. That was like a good tactical option there. There we go. Wonderful. And we'll have our uh, tech net hub up next turn. And that'll make all this combat a lot easier. Okay, so we got our organ printer Tian Gong. Now, I think it's probably time to build the Xenomalayam. Um... Short term, we do have other options here that would help out a bit. Um, but I really, really want to get the Xenomalayam, and this just looks like the only city to really do it in. If we do do total production focus, um, we'll get the Xenomalayam in just 15 turns. And that looks great. Uh, I think we're still growing. The economy is still pumping out considerable amounts of energy. Um, I don't quite see a downside here. So one of the things we might want to do is we do have a ton of energy. Um, and health is becoming an issue, so what we might want to do is buy a command center, and we'll use the, and that'll, especially the are pretty much untakeable, and we'll use the, the quest from that to get us in uh, another spy, and then that'll really help our health out. While we talk about that, how goes the spies? That's right, 14 turns, if this one succeeds, we will have another spy on deck, or we'll at least be able to extract one. So, no more things in Tiangong, so we can probably reassign this guy to home, turn to HQ, and that'll increase our health uh, for next turn. So we do have negative 10 health, so I really want to see where this is really coming from. Um, Tan, we're getting two, Ganzerig, uh, probably three there, Wanle, one, Gongren, one, Tiangong, whoa, Tiangong has serious, serious health issues. Uh, it only has seven local health, I guess that's because we just swapped out BioWells. I guess we do need to swap back into those. Um, yeah. Yeah, there you go. That pretty much fixed it <laughs> immediately. So now I know. Don't uh, press reset on the capital. And that ultimately doesn't change that much of the yields. Just increases our health considerably. The learning experience. And let's see if... Hmm. How much health does this guy have? 50? Fine. We'll move him on to the miasma and try to remove it. That guy can try to finish that bio well. And over here, I guess we could just hold the line. All right. Ah, the Plystrians are pushing up. Again, I'm not too afraid because we will be top popping a TACnet hub this turn. And that's going to really give us dominance in this region. Hmm. 
Hmm, it might be wise to start building a few more units. It has been said, the point of war is not to die for your country, but to make your enemy die for theirs. I dream of a day when our mortal form can stand beneath the skies of any planet without fear or apology. Love the quotes in this game. Alrighty, so we got a bunch of upgrades from that level 10. Um, again, this doesn't totally matter, so let's just grab a random one. And again, this one's not going to matter really either. So let's just do that one. Doesn't matter. Alright, so we did get a quest. So this was from the command center, like I said. And here we are. One plus one covert agent. I'm going to help our health out. And do we have that covert op? I guess he's automatically stationed in the capital. That's going to help our health out a bit. And just like that, we're done with tactical robotics. So now really the choice is, do we go hypercomputing? And that will allow us to build hypercores, which we don't have the Firaxite for. That said, if we look at our virtues. Um, we will get be getting a virtue in the next eight turns, which is well before we get the hypercores. And we could use that to get brutal efficiency here, which would give us a lot more Firaxite that we could use to pump our science even more. Um, the alternative to that is... Um, Hold on, what am I doing? Is of course to go right for climate control and just step up our affinity. Um, the faster we get our affinity up, the better our soldier is going to be. So, for example, if we when we pick this up and we go to level 11, um, I do believe if you look at upgrade units that the soldiers will increase to apostles, and that will be insanely strong, and will be basically be able to curb stomp the polystyrelians. Um, so the choice here is between what appears to us to be a clever amount of uh, science out of the hyper cores in late game, um, or get us to that affinity level 11, and we'll actually have the weather controller, which might be more useful um, for satellites than the laser comm satellites. So, um, it seems to me that we're at a bit of an impasse. Uh, alternatively for science, we go orbital networks, which we have to get anyways, and it's gonna give us laser comm sats. Um, and we could deploy those everywhere for a heavy chunk of science. Uh, terraforming would give us access to floatstone wells right away. And hmm, this would just be 9 turns away from a good amount of science. Or 13 turns away, we might be able to build some hybrid cores in places. This is really for extreme military, and this is really for, you know, digging deep down, staying where we are, and just pumping science to victory. I'm thinking, let's be a little experimental and just go for our climate control and see if we can't get an amazing military. If that's the case, though, that we will be upgrading all of our units into apostles in just nine turns, it follows logically that what we want to do is build a metric crap ton of, uh, of soldiers. So here I'm just going to build a feed site hub in Kuyan, just for the sake of uh, getting the quest out as soon as we can. And then also, while I'm at it, uh, let's line up some disciples because they won't be anywhere as cheap as they are when they become apostles um hmm yeah so it looks like we definitely want to start building disciples everywhere and just like that we're going to become a huge military threat our economy will be able to sustain it i believe i think we should be fine let's move this guy out here and remove that miasma if we can Guy probably deserves a heal. And this one can finish the bio well, and this one can remove the miasma. Okay, these. Alright, yeah, we want to launch the attack let hub now. So, where do we want it? I think here's probably a good place. Um, it's nice and forward. It gives us some strength if we fall back to that river line, though. So, that looks like a great place. And that reveals some area um, of the polystrains as well. So, they do have an artillery there. They could, in theory, take out the attack hub if they were in the right positioning. Now they're not. So let's go ahead and blast them. Let's see if we can't take them out this turn as well. We definitely can. So we just have to punch them right here. This guy in defense. Um, can't attack with this unit. Let's have him continue to sit there. And then the needle jets clean up. We're at it. Let's have this needle jet uh, hit this armor. Mm, what we could do is we could move this guy 
in here and he would be mm, I'd, I'd prefer honestly to hold this line though um so maybe what we want to do is just shift our guy down here and give our two front line damage units a little bit more percent bonus at least this one more percent bonus or having comrades next to him all right so here um i'm thinking what we do is we heal up and remove this miasma too because we do eventually plan on invading new hope again and this time successfully <laughs> So, in just two turns, unit 10 will be done, and we will be, well, the organ printer, and we can start printing out uh, even more, printing out, silly me, basically pumping a bunch of disciples, because we only have a limited time span on those. Intruder alert. What hath happened? Hmm, well, we mean no offense. We really weren't doing it against them. Oh, look at that. Somebody has a ship and it's getting attacked. Ubethans. KPs. Alright, let's bomb these guys. What's the best spot for a bombing? We can't actually invade this territory, so what we could do is bomb them out with uh, our needle jets. And then just hit this guy with... Uh, one squad of really powerful disi uh, disciples because he's next to so many friendlies. And then just go ahead and double bomb this unit out here. This is how we deal enemies. If he does get this uh, artillery too close, a little too close, we'll have to overextend and take it out because I'd rather not lose my backnet hub. Um, they're just nice. I like how they heal your units. I like what they do. So we did just get another worker done here. This one I'm actually going to have improve this titanium. Um, and here's a trade convoy. What is the best trade route? Again, to Tan would give us extremely high yields. But the, the continue trader to Tiangong is giving us so many bolts. So I think this one is still worth it. Because we're getting so many bolts to Tiangong. Here, what we might want to do is swap these guys out, because this one is uh, a little more damaged. I think he would have held, healed to full, though, so it was kind of unnecessary. Um, in fact, it was a worse tactical move, now that I think about it, because our guy will not be fortified. Let's see if we can't get this worker up, and removing that miasma as well. Okay, so it looks like the Plesterians have Sentinels. So that's going to be a fairly scary unit, and the Guardians are going to be pretty scary too. Sentinels tend to be extremely buff, so not the best. They did move a battle suit out into the water, and we'll be able to shoot him down with a needle jet, I'm sure. Unless the game decides that, you know, uh, it's kind of, it doesn't matter that he's in the water, that we'll still do the same amount of damage. Sometimes the game does decide that. Let's go ahead and just bomb these guys. And... Hmm... We have no better targets for this guy. So we might as well actually use our needle jets for something else. Let's just bomb him. Uh, walk in here. And then, now that he's gone, let's focus some of these guys. I think. We could, yeah, I'm, I like this attack, because it's not. we're not going to move on to that Hex, and then we'll be able to take him out with uh, Needle Jets. Here, let's just do some solid damage. Finish him up with Needle Jets as we need. Let's do a good solid airstrike here, too. Actually, no, we could hit this artillery for a lot of damage. So, let's go ahead and do that. I didn't see that before. Uh, it might fly like 90 circles around, but this should be a kill on this artillery piece. Oh boy. Um, okay, let's see what the rest of our empire is up to. You know, Tin finished its organ printer, so now I think it's time to just pump out some disciples. Where are the disciples? Why am I failing? Stop it! Ah! 
just there it is I'm blind it's hard to see man okay this guy removed the miasma so now he can build us another bio well and this miasma needs to be removed so we can build a titanium mine no nope, we will not trade that with you sir you will get nothing of this out of this war looks like they advanced a little bit all the Australian army here is really huge it's a good thing we brought back our overseer when we did. We will get reinforcements in the form of a few disciples in a few turns. Um, and what we might want to do actually is push back um, getting climate control so soon so we can have room to build a few more disciples before they all become apostles and it's just a very painful manner matter of uh, getting all of our energy. Sorry, uh, building them because they'll take forever to build. Honestly, once they're built, we will have just such a strong army. So the question here is, do we want plus 10% city health from organ printers, or all units plus 10 healing? I think health we have under control with our soma distilleries, so this just seems like a better choice. So all 10 healing, plus 10 healing, 2 military units. Looks good. Alright, so I am gonna just go ahead and walk in, but first I'd like to shoot um, this guy while we have the adjacency bonus. Because you do get an adjacency bonus on overseers for having units next to you. So then we'll walk in, kill this artillery piece. So the goal here is not to lose any units. I really don't want to lose a single unit. We can definitely double bomb this one. Um, but for these guys, what is the best choice? I think probably just to fortify. Mm, we might want to fall back to the river. Um... Smart choice. Uh, I'm gonna stay. Actually, yeah, we'll be in friendly territory. I'm gonna fall back to the river. Um, this guy will remove the miasma. He can actually build his plantation here. Why not? That'll require him to cut down the forest, and that'll ease the access into New Hope. All right. So double bombing this guy will work. Just have to hit him twice. Hopefully, it'll work. There we go. Looks like. He will be down and out for the count. Boom, goes the dynamite. Sweet. All right, so we finished our vivarium in ton. We're trying to grow here as fast as we feasibly can. Um, so alongside growth comes the need to get some production up. Let's go ahead and get trade depots and recyclers there as soon as we can. We are working this amazing titanium tile, and once this one's done, we'll be able to work that one too. Um, as it stands, we don't have the most food sources right now because we haven't been focusing on our plantations. Um, we will get one here, but as soon as this guy's done with the Mazma, I guess I can send him here to work on that plantation. And we are getting bombed back in main base. I think we should be fine though. Okay, so we had to retreat a little bit, back off, uh, but it looks like we'll be fine. Um, they will be able to shoot down our Technet Hub if we can't kill that artillery. So we want to definitely double focus that with our Needle Jets. But maybe that won't even be enough. So what I really want to see here is, is it worth shooting it with the Overseer? Um, so let's go ahead and check how the Needle Jets look. They won't be able to do it on their own. So we do need the Overseer to do that for us. Okay. Now I think we're going to have some trouble taking this guy out. So we definitely want to hit that one with the city. Who got upgraded? This guy got upgraded. He is now an expert. That's fantastic. Okay, so take our needle jet. Uh, hopefully, more healthy one, slightly more healthy one. Bomb out that artillery piece. And I think we can just put these guys into healing mode. Uh, they will heal a lot given they're in friendly territory, um, and especially a lot because we just got or that organ printing um, bonus. So, and we did just get another disciple. This is wonderful. Uh, let's send him over here to power up this disciple out here. And we definitely want to take out this poly uh, the battle suit before he can try to engage the overseer. And I think we'll be fine. We want to hit him once. What? We didn't take out the artillery piece! I didn't even notice that. Uh, you know, with this battle suit's health as it is, we could risk just running in with this disciple. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot that guy down. And then 
it's risky business walking in. Um, I think what is smartest is to run in here and then back off into the city with him. Unless, you know, healing just in place, he'll, he will heal a lot. And he's only under attack from like two relatively weakened units. So I actually think we can probably just have him stay there. I really don't like him not getting any bonuses though. Oh boy. Looks like Kavitha is mounting a bit of an army. So we definitely want to start putting troops out on this border. But it looks like time is up, guys. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys.